Hey guys, it's Kayler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today is day 26 of our Daily UI series. Today we're going to be creating a subscribe feature. So this is going to be for a newsletter and we're going to be entering our email. And uh, so we're going to have things like the title, a simple little tagline describing uh, what you're doing. So what you're signing up for basically. And then we're going to have a submit button. This is our newsletter box and this is where all of our information is going to go. So I'm going to bump this up to about 20 on that. Let's actually go 50, so we have some good uh, shadow going on there. Okay, so we're just going to have newsletter here at the top, and I'm going to make this about a 80 to 90 size font, something large uh, so the user can visibly see the title. And we're going to try out a new font that I downloaded just now off Typekit called Victor, V-I-K-T-O-R script, Victor script. And I'm going to bump that up to 90. That actually made the word a little bit smaller. Make sure it's centered and then position it just visually for now. And I have a pink color that I'm going to use. All right, so then we're going to type out our tagline. So subscribe to our weekly newsletter and never miss, whoops, miss an update, period. I'm gonna grab that, center that up, and let's go to Proxima Nova on that. Whoops, that is Prometheus. Proxima Nova. And let's bump that to either 26, 30, or 36, somewhere in that range. A good size. I'm gonna type in 30 there. There we go. And actually, I'm gonna change that back to Helvetica. For the color, I'm gonna go with a gray. Let's put some blue on here just in case we want some blue tones and uh, somewhere around around there let's center that up for now and so now we're gonna have two inputs one is our email input and the second is our subscribe button input so copy this twice once again we're just doing this visually and I'm gonna copy this and paste it and then drag it over I'm also going to apply a gray color to both of those, and then I'm going to darken this one up just slightly, something like that, so it stands out, so you can clearly see this is an icon. So I'm going to remove the border off of this one, and then I'm going to change the fill to the blue color. The color code on that is 03AFF3, and then I'm going to click off that. Uh, also, the pink color code that I'm using is FF2E8A, and then the green color code if I can grab that for you guys, is ACF000. I'm gonna darken this blue color up as well by just dragging the slider down somewhere around there, and we'll have our icons there. So we need our subscribe text, subscribe, and then we're gonna put this white, bump it to 26 on the font, and I'm gonna leave this Helvetica. I'm also gonna copy that style of Helvetica to our tagline here as well. Center that up. Okay, and so I'm gonna center this inside of this box. So this icon right here is not gonna push this text over at all. This is still gonna be centered up inside of this rectangle. And then for our email text, I'm just gonna copy that, grab this darker gray color, then I'm gonna darken it just a bit. Somewhere around there should be good. And then I'm going to put your email. I'm going to center that up, and then I'm going to center it up inside of this. Also going to center this text and then center it back up to make sure everything is good. I'm going to lighten this slightly. Perfect. Okay, so this is actually too tall of a box, so I'm going to drag this down a bit. And I'm going to start working on the spacing. So I'm going to group these up individually. So group all of those elements. And then let's do about 40 or 30 spacing. Let's do 35. And then from the bottom, I'll go up probably 40, 50-ish. And then we'll just do this one visually. There's 35. Let's see what that looks like. That's too consistent. something like that and let's make this a little bit narrower just got to get that box position 
just right. And I'm also going to grab all of these. I'm going to ungroup these. Grab all these rectangles. And I'm going to apply a border radius of 10 on those. So you can see, if I zoom in here, you can still see that there. So that's kind of the effect I'm going for on the input and button. And we're also going to have the icon here that represents this. So this will be an email icon, and this will probably be some kind of uh, subscribe icon. I'm going to adjust this text. It's too too blue. Stands out too much. There we go. For the X in the corner up here, I'm actually just going to make that icon myself. So let's drag out a rectangle, copy and paste it, rotate it 90 degrees. I'm going to grab these and center them up, remove that. For the fill, I'm going to use the gray color that we used on this input here. And then rotate this. And then we're going to scale it down. Group it, stick it in the corner over here. So we have our X icon there. I also want a little bit more spacing up top, so I'm going to bump that down a bit. OK. Now I have an image of just some guy with a newspaper and a bag. And I'm going to send this to the back. And I'm just going to kind of position the bag and the newspaper here and maybe his hand a little bit on this image and bring it forward. And then I'm going to lower the opacity to about 7. And then go from there. So around 5 looks pretty cool. Just to add some detail to uh, this newsletter. Okay. And I'm going to send it to back one more time. I'm going to copy and paste that. And then mask with shape. That is command shift M. So we have that. And I'm going to send that all the way to the back. Make sure everything is good. And this needs to be a darker gray now. So let's grab both of those rectangles and just darken those up as needed. Something like that. A little bit more spacing in the corner. Nothing too precise on the X. For our inputs, I'm going to group them back up. I'm going to drag this one down somewhere around there. I'm also going to drag that one down. And I'm not going to add too much spacing on those. All right, I quickly grabbed my icon. So I have an email icon or a mail icon, and then I have a plug icon. So the plug, kind of the exclamation behind that is you're plugging into the information. So that's kind of the idea. Uh, just something different to see as an icon instead of like the typical folded up paper plane or like an arrow. Uh, something to mix it up a little bit. So that's the reasoning behind that, just something new. So I'm going to center those up inside of the smaller rectangle, just using my align tools. And then I'm going to create a white color fill on those. I don't know why these icons that I use are always in so many groups. It just depends on the different packs. Something like that. I think this one needs to be a little bit smaller to match kind of this one's white space it's got going on. So I'm going to scale it down a little bit more. So they won't be exactly the same, but visually they will look a little better. Something like that. Let's grab this and then center it up to our document. And like that, we have a newsletter subscription. That is what I chose to do for my subscribe element or feature that they recommend I do for day 26 of the Daily UI series. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video for more daily UI. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. On the left is my previous video, just in case you missed it. On the right is YouTube's recommendation just for you. And the top center icon is my channel icon. Click that to subscribe for more content just like this. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.